Welcome to Mrs. Bay's sixth grade math video lesson. Addition and subtraction of decimals with word problems. Please do not use a calculator. You may use your personal whiteboard or paper and pencil to work the problems. Let's look at our vocabulary. We have the word add end and sum when we add decimals. The numbers that we add together are called add ends. The answer to addition is sum. Now let's look at vocabulary for subtraction. The first number in a subtraction problem is the menu end. The second number in a subtraction problem is the subtrahend. The answer to subtraction is the difference. Now let's look at some action words. Sometimes they are referred to as signal words for addition. You're to look for these kinds of words when you're reading a word problem. So these are some examples. Sum, plus, add, and, total, or total of, increase, increased by, more, or more than, raise, combined, in all, altogether, additional, together, both, and added to. I'm sure there are more words that would signal us to add, but this is a good list of words for us to consider. Now let's look at some action words or signal words for subtraction. Again, you want to look for these words or phrases when you think or you're, you might be looking for subtraction in a problem. Minus, take away, less or less than, decrease, decreased by, difference, reduce, lost, left, dropped, how much more, diminished, subtract, subtract from, deduct, remove. Again, there are probably more words that would signal us that we need subtraction, but this again is a nice list. Let's take our first example. One sheet of metal is 0.28 centimeter thick. Another is 0.35 centimeter thick. What is the combined thickness of these two sheets of metal? Be sure to label. Well, first, let's go back and identify the numbers that are necessary in this problem. We do have one sheet of metal, but it tells us that that sheet is 0.28. Another is 0 0.35. Now, what are we supposed to do with these two numbers? Well, this is where we need to look for our signal words. So let's look for signal words. What is the combined thickness of these two sheets of metal? Well, here's the word combined. This word tells us we are to add. So let's add. Let's take the first number, 0 0.28. Let's be careful to line up our decimal points, 0, 3, 5. And we're going to add. Notice that I've lined every column nice and neat so that we don't get confused. Let's begin. 8 plus 5 is 13. 
So I bring the three here, carry the one. One plus two plus three is six. I bring down that decimal point straight down and zero plus zero is zero. Now let's write the answer. The answer is 0 0.63. It's real important that we put the zero in front of the point so we know that that point is not a mistake or a smudge on our paper or a smear on the computer. We wanna be very careful and realize that this is a decimal answer. This decimal answer has two decimal places. Now let's look for the label. The label in this one is centimeter. And how I know that is because 0 0.28 has been labeled with centimeter and 0 0.35 is labeled with centimeter. The question is asking us, what is the combined thickness of these two sheets of metal? Since we're looking at the thickness of these two sheets, we're gonna use the label centimeter. Words that are measurements can be abbreviated. So instead of spelling the word out centimeter, we could write 0 0.63 cm. That is the correct abbreviation for centimeter. So the answer is 63 hundredths of a centimeter. Let's look at another example. Kelly has two packages that weigh a total of 4.8 kilograms. One package weighs 1.9 kilograms. How much does the other package weigh? Well, first let's go to the problem and look for the numbers we will be using. We have the number two here, but it's referring to the number of packages that we're looking for. We say that the total package, to, the total packages together are 4.8 kilograms. So we're gonna need that number. Another package weighs 1.9 kilograms. Well, I know I'm working with decimals, so it's very important that I line up my decimal points. But what am I gonna do with these two numbers? Do I add them or do I subtract them? Well, you have to read the problem very carefully. Kelly has two packages that weigh a total of 4.8 kilograms. That means two packages together are 4.8. So am I gonna add 4.8 and 1.9? No because we're told that the total of the two packages are 4.8. The question is how much does the other package weigh? If 4.8 is the total, 1.9 is the weight of one package, we need to subtract to find the weight of the other package. So let's begin. Eight minus nine is well, we can't do that, so we're gonna to have to borrow from our neighbor. And it was four, we're gonna take one away, make three. We're carrying a group of tens. So eight will become 18 with that group of 10 added to it. 18 minus nine is nine. Let's bring down that decimal point straight down. Notice I have my columns lined up nicely. 3 minus 1 is 2. So now it says that we're supposed to label. Be sure to label. 
So now let's go back and look at what that label could be. Well, notice we have 4.8 kilograms. So 4.8 has been labeled already kilograms. And 1.9 kilograms. So the label for 1.9 is also kilograms. Now let's read the question. How much does the other package weigh? Well, the label for weight in this example is kilograms. So our answer is 2.9 kilograms. Because kilograms is a measurement, we can abbreviate it. So that means the answer would be written 2.9 kg. Now let's go back and read this answer correctly. Two and nine tenths kilogram. Now let's look at the directions for practice. I want you to go to IXL, which is IXL.com. Your login information can be found in your school email. Please go to sixth grade, and I want you to do G2, add and subtract decimals, word problems. This is a graded assignment. 80% is full credit. And if you reach 100%, you receive a bonus point. Thank you.